Get off your feet and grab a seat because today we build cheap seat feet. And I'm Pete. What's up everyone? Welcome to Pete Shop Makes. I'm your host Pete. And today for uh, my buddy, I'm gonna be attempting to put some feet on these arena seats. Um, he's a season ticket holder for the Sacramento Kings and when they tore down um, Sleep Train Arena, uh, all the season ticket holders got to keep their um, seats. And so once they received them, um, because there's no brackets or anything on the bottom, they're virtually useless. And they do make a product called Seat Feet, um, you can see here. Uh, but they're almost $200 for basically some L brackets. And so he reached out to me and asked if I could possibly make something for a little bit cheaper. And um, I thought, well, I'd give it a try. And uh, this build will actually be my first um, welding job in uh, this shop. I've welded before, um, but not since uh, high school. So I went and purchased a cheap little arc welder on Amazon and um, I'm gonna attempt to uh, weld up some brackets and then uh, make a little uh, platform box for it when I'm all done, just to kind of help stabilize it a little bit. So if you wanna see how I did it all, stick around. So the metal that I'm using for this project is just some quarter inch, 10 by 10 inch L brackets and eighth inch mild steel sheet metal. So what I just did basically, I took this one eighth inch uh, mild steel and um, bent it around one of these L brackets because the L brackets themselves are not wide enough to span the uh, width of the seat brackets. So I went ahead and put that plate um, on the back and then bent it over to hopefully give it a little bit more stability. Because most of the stuff in my shop is made of wood, um, this, I'm gonna be using my sharpening table. This is just a piece of quartz countertop that I have, which is dead flat and makes it perfect for sharpening my chisels and, and uh, plane blades and things like that. But I'm gonna be using it today uh, as my welding surface. Because again, like I said, everything in my shop is made of wood. Okay, so here's my new little mini arc welder. Uh, Amazon Blue Light Special, $100 out the door uh, for you Prime members. And 200 amps, smaller than most women's handbags. And speaking of which, it did come with a matching pair of pumps and a negligee to, uh, I guess, show off to your buddies or what have you. I don't, you know, I'm not one to judge. But, um, yeah, uh, some of the other ones I looked at for, I mean, almost four times as much. It only went up to about 160 amps, and this thing pumps out at 200. So uh, more than strong enough for my application, especially, you know, dealing mostly mainly in wood. Um, yeah, this thing is going to be pretty, plenty strong, and it's perfect. It doesn't take up too much room, and, um, you know, I think it'll work out just fine. So with that being said, let's go ahead and give her a whirl. Alrighty, let's rock and roll. These aren't the most beautiful things in the world. Yeah, yeah, boy, that looks pretty crappy. But you get a couple big gobs of paint in there and uh, they'll look wonderful. 
So with that being said, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and prime them up and get them ready to paint. for paint to dry uh, I have this leg here that seems to be longer notice this portion here I think this was on the end of the aisle and then you have this portion here which is substantially shorter which is causing it to sit kind of cockeyed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prop this back up into place so they're all even. And I already removed the bolts from the uh, side plate here connecting the chair back to the armrest. So I'm gonna push it in place, get it even with the other two uh, brackets, and then uh, clamp it in place and drill new holes in that side plate right there. And um, put the bolts back in. So now I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, install the brackets. Okay, so I got the brackets all put on. It all looks good. But as you can see, still very unstable it's just kind of rickety flimsy and it's because of all this just what it's meant is cheap thin cheap metal so i need to come up with a way to um stabilize it a little bit better talking with my buddy louie um who you may remember from the um thin shelf build we decided to come up with some sort of uh, platform or box if uh, you will just to kind of make it look a little bit better and to add some rigidity to it um, he came up with the idea to make it look like the Boston Celtics uh, TD Garden court and in case you're unfamiliar with that it's called a parquet floor which looks something like this and um, so I bought some of these uh, laminate flooring, golden oak, uh, just one box. I think it comes with maybe eight uh, of these little panels. And it does have this styrofoam underlayment on it. Um, I found the best way to remove these was just applying some heat and uh, it comes right off with the glue. So what I'm gonna do is I, I got another sheet of wood I'm basically just going to um, position these in a way that it resembles the uh, parquet style and uh, go ahead and make a little platform or box for these to uh, sit on. So I'm going to go ahead and make all my cuts and get it all ready and start on that next. God, we are on the home stretch. Finally, this thing took forever. Okay, so I was thinking about a finish. I wanted it to look, um, have the same type of sheen as a uh, basketball court. So I did a few different um, types of finish. Uh, I did a brush on, oil-based polyurethane, 
wipe on poly, uh, spray lacquer. This was D wax shellac or a sanding sealer. And um, this was general finishes, um, top coat, and a gloss. And I think I get the best results and the most easiest to apply uh, is the wipe on poly. And I don't know if you guys can even see that or not, but it gives me pretty decent sheen. Uh, almost identical to the brush on, but dries a lot faster and is a lot faster to apply. So that's the method I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and do that now. They turned out perfect. Um, the brackets are holding just fine, thank God. And um, I'm really happy with the uh, parquet floor. I think it turned out amazing. So um, originally, this uh, the beginning, I said these were going to be cheap seat feet. Um, <laughs> after doing all this stuff, uh, that $200 price range for the uh, brackets online is probably starting to look a little bit better um but you know this was a unique case my buddy said you know basically go big or go home and and um so you know i i pulled out all the stops for this one but in all reality the l brackets and the sheet metal maybe 60 bucks besides the the arc welder um you know if you already had one of those really you could save some money um doing this yourself but if you have to go out and buy everything or, or have somebody, you know, make it for you, because even after you put those, even if you bought the ones online and you put them on, this would still be really um, kind of wonky and just, I don't, I don't think it would be very stable. So you would almost have to build some sort of um, just bracing to run across and, and kind of connect all three brackets together. And so, you know, it, it is what it is, but all in all, um, I, I think they turned out great. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, share it with your friends, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Oh. I think I caught that on camera.